So hi guys, welcome to the second episode of the saves I'm going to be doing for FM19. And in today's episode, we're going to look at our main save. Now before we go into that, if you haven't already done so, please check out my previous video, which outlines my beta save for FM19. I'm going to be Panathinaikos, but check out the video. Now before we go into that, please make sure that you hit that big like button. And also, if you're new to the channel then why not hit the subscribe button and click the little notification bell so you get notified every time we go live. So for this year's main save, I'm going to start in the lower legions of English football. I don't know if the league will be available straight away. We might have to wait a week or two until uh, the update comes out or until someone does a different database for the lower leagues. But I'm going to be starting in the Evo Stick South Premier League with my local club, St Ives Town. Now, if you can't see it, I'm donning a lovely jumper, courtesy of St Ives Town. And, uh, yeah, as you can tell, the, the colour that they predominantly wear is black. It's black and white. And... Uh, a little bit of information about St. Isles Town is that they were founded in 1887. They play their games at Westwood Road, which is right next to the St. Ivo School. They're based in Cambridgeshire, along the River Ouse. And it's a historical town which is mainly known for being a market town, with a small population of around 17,000. So the Evo Stick Premier League South, where, where does that fit in in the English league system? And... How many times are we going to need to get promoted to reach the Premier League? Well, it's not as far as you might think. So, basically, the Evo Stick Premier South, if we get promotion in that, then we go up to the Vanarama South. And then after that, you go into the uh, the National League. The Vanarama National League. And then after that, you've got League 2, League 1, Championship Premier League. So, we're only six promotions away from getting in the Premier League. Now, how do we put this into context for you guys? Um, I'm guessing, um, obviously, six promotions, it, it's not as far as it may seem. However, if you want to know what sort of clubs are in this league, you've got a lot of local ones like St. Neots, Biggles Wade, but also there's a very big club in this league. Well, they're not a big club, but they potentially had an opportunity to become big, and then it all went downhill Rushton and Diamonds AFC, I'm sure you remember them. They were an up-and-coming club quite a few years ago, 15 years ago maybe, maybe 20 years. But now they are in the same league as St. Ives Town. They're actually lower in the league as St. Ives are currently 8th. And uh, I believe they've got some decent players in their squad this year. They're doing, doing pretty well. Maybe in the saves as well, what I'll try and do is try and get some footage of some games, um, if I can get down there. Um... But some of the players that they've got, I believe they're probably on a, a sort of loan. Um, but they've got Owen Wallace, who was formerly at Norwich. And also Jordan Patrick, who I believe was at Cambridge United. Um, I remember him from a save I've done before with Cambridge United. So I swear I remember the name. So I believe he's from them. And also St Ives have made a fantastic achievement by reaching, for the first time, the third round of the qualifying stage of the FA Cup. And they're going to be playing away at York City this Saturday. FM Tree Quartista, if you're watching. Come on, you saints! Anyway, obviously, he supports York. So, uh, got a bit of rivalry there already. But other things you need to know about St. Ives Town. Um, it's, like I said, it's a small town. But there's been two big names that have come out of it in recent years. So the first one being ex-Norwich goalkeeper, John Ruddy. So John Ruddy used to go to St. Ives School. Went to school with my mate Mark. And he never used to be a goalkeeper as far as I'm aware. But obviously he's developed into a very, very good one. And also, St. Ives Town, this player did actually play for St. Ives Town. He's a Northern Ireland international. He plays for QPR in the championship. His name is Connor Washington. That's right. He started at St. Ives. He was banging in the goals. He then got signed up by Peterborough, I believe. And, and he's gone on to bigger and better things. So congratulations to him. And it just shows there's not a massive, massive gap. There is opportunities there. Maybe some of these young stars that we're going to play with 
will get the opportunity to play higher up in the leagues. Or you never know, in our save, one of these guys might be our top goal scorer of all time by the time FM20 comes out. So you never know. Uh, it'd be interesting to find out. And I'm sure you all can't wait to, to start this save right now because I, I definitely can't. I really can't wait to do it. So you're probably wondering why I want to be St. Ives Town. Well, St. Ives Town is pretty much where I grew up. I moved there in 1996. I stayed there until about 2011. These were my teen years as well, so I've got so many memories going out, partying at the uh, the football club, at St. Ives Football Club. We used to use that place. Um, obviously, we've got town. There used to be so many clubs there. It's not as lively anymore, but it used to be a proper hotspot. It used to be awesome down there. But um, I've got fantastic memories there. Obviously, I've lived there a long time, and... Uh, I really want them to do well. I know uh, the manager, Ricky Mahanaki, is an absolute legend. Um, he's helped us out um, in certain aspects of this. The club have been very welcoming. And uh, yeah, I, I really can't wait to uh, to get this save underway. Hopefully, uh, we can get to some of the games as well. Like I said, I'll try and get some footage in there and uh, try and get some of the players involved as well. That would be an interesting aspect, I like to think. But um, yeah, that will be my save. Uh, my main save in FM19 this year. Um, it's going to be tough. Obviously, with it being a probably going to be an updated database, um, there's not going to be as many of the players as possible. However, um, I might set up the team as it is. Uh, you can go to their website, which is down below. It's www.stivestownfc.co.uk. Here you can find out all the information you need about the league, about the fixtures, about the players. But I will be using this potentially to set up the team if there's certain players missing. Because we want it as realistic as possible. So now it's time for that all-important question for your chance to win a copy of the game in our Football Manager 19 giveaway. The question is, how many times will we need to get promoted to get to the Premier League? Now make sure you don't forget to leave your answers in the comments section below. And also, if you want more chances to win, make sure you check out my other videos and you leave the comments and the answers in their comment sections too. We will be bringing out more videos, so make sure you stay tuned and uh, you answer the questions for those as well. Give yourself some more chances. And uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Make sure... Um, you don't forget to hit that big like button as well and subscribe to the channel and we will see you soon.